right, so we have it all set up. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to juice these three items. You're going to see how it goes, how it works, and how it handles the large apple as a whole and everything else down to the gender. So I'll go turn it on. It's fairly quiet. And we'll start off uh, we'll start off with the ginger. So a little bit of juice gathered right there. Pulps right there. And everything's out of that chamber. So let's go to the carrot. Just drop the carrot in as a whole. It doesn't go in. It doesn't go all the way down. I guess if it was a little bit longer than uh, uh, the spiral would have pulled it in, but this way we'll just give it a push. All right, and then we got the apple. We'll try to throw it in as a whole. So there's the apple. I'm actually very surprised that it took it. I'm not sure what that screeching was, but I'm really surprised that it just took that apple as a whole and all the way down it goes. That's all the juice we have for now. And that looks like about 200 milliliters of juice, about 8 ounces. That looks like some dry pulp. I'm actually curious to get a napkin, throw it on a napkin and uh, get a dough roller, roll it over and see if we get some juice out of the pulp. Alright, let's go ahead and stop it. Got a bit of a splash there. So my old juicer that I had, it didn't let the juice all the way out. I had to get the machine and uh, tilt it over to the side to get the juice to come out. I want to let the juice drip out right now and check if there's any that's left over in there that I have to physically tip over and push out. That looks like some nice juice right there. I'm going to close it for a second, then pour the juice into a cup. Let's see what else we could get out of here. All right, so I'm going to tip it over. See how much it adds into the cup. So, not too much, but there was a little bit in there. All right. The pulp doesn't come out fully. I guess this this is where you have to get the water and uh, run the water down in here to get everything cleaned out. But let me quickly get a couple napkins so we could see how much juice is left in the pulp here.
So obviously there's a little bit of uh, moisture that came out there. But to look at the other side, which I'm more curious about, because the pressure was on this side, there's not that much moisture here. There's not like a puddle of juice that was left over. It's just a little bit. So I'm gonna get the, the dough roller or whatever you wanna call this device. And I'm just gonna roll it over a couple of times. Yeah. Looking at the napkin, that's all we have. To tell you the truth, that's barely anything. Yeah, especially looking at this side where the pressure was. I would expect there to be a little puddle around, but that's the exact shape of how the pulp is. I don't know if you guys find that interesting, but I find that really interesting. It just shows that there's a lot of pressure that goes into it and a lot of moisture that's taken out before the pulp comes out. And I'm looking down in the juice. There's not that much uh, separation in it. There's not a lot of foam on top. There's no foam actually on top. All right, there you go. So no foam on top. 